Hi friends, how are we today? So we're gonna be making a fairy garden. Um, I have mine here and I'm gonna jump in to give you a couple ideas on what to do with yours. So for this craft, I'm not gonna do a huge video on it because a lot of it is up to you, but I do wanna give you guys some ideas on how to decorate your little fairy house. So you should have paint, paint brushes, and a flower pot and let me just widen out so you guys can see so i have my flower pot painted um you'll also have a paint pen and i think it's important to talk about how we use these paint pens so you should have a color looks like this you're going to want to have like paper or um paper plate something you can like I guess hit the pen on because the, what you got to do is with the cap on you need to shake it and then once you've done that you have um, a pen so I have a piece of paper right here and to get it started you have to actually press it up and down a bunch and you'll see since it'll um, the paint will kind of move down to the end until you're able to just kind of write with it like almost like a marker but it's paint and i gave these so you guys have something to do some of your finer details but this is very much up to you so i have I, you know door um windows i did some ivy um really it's up to you what you want to put on your fairy garden um i will say though less is more when it comes to the paint so it's better to do thinner layers multiple times um and so then you can go back in and do details so for example i started with my glass i did that first um and then i started you know putting my door and then i even painted over the door with some grass and this was already dry at that point so if you're going to do multiple layers like how i have Make sure your paint is dry, otherwise it's just going to smudge and get any everywhere. But I drew some fairies, some stars, some flowers, and the way I did these flowers is I just um, had like a little circle sponge, but really you can use your paintbrush and I just kind of like push it in there to make it a circle, and that's why it's textured. Uh, I hope you enjoy these, and I'd love it if you guys sent pictures of your completed fairy gardens because they're pretty cute. Uh, I'm going to put mine outside the library, so keep your eye out for uh, this little, this little guy.